Welcome to All Horse Racing All the Time. I'm your host, Al. Here we are on the eve of Saratoga 2024 opening day, and I come to you with a Linda Rice alert. Yeah, a Linda Rice alert. I try and keep everybody in the loop. If you haven't heard about this, you're hearing it here, right here, right now. I know a lot of players, they see Linda Rice, the wildly successful trainer in New York for the Naira circuit, has won two Saratoga trainer titles, tied with Chad Brown last year, the 2024 title with 35 victories. She won the opening race at Saratoga, and she won the final race of the meet to finish in a dead heat with the tremendous Chad Brown. Why the red flag? A lot of people just bet her blindly. Well, you may want to hold your horses on this one. And this comes from a Daily Racing Forum article that broke recently about Linda Rice. And we're going to take a look at that and talk about it right now. What's up with Linda Rice? I mean, she comes with her share of baggage, her controversies, her suspensions, and like most other good trainers do, right, in horse racing. Well, Linda is no exception. But if you think she's a shoe in in these uh, Saratoga races, think again. And I'm going to talk about that. And this is from the daily racing form. Try and keep people in the loop, folks. Especially you players out there. Rice not confident she'll be atop the standings again. What is this all about? Let's take a look. Trainer Linda Rice won the first race of the 2023 Saratoga meet and the last and a whole bunch of races in between, which enabled her to tie Chad Brown for the most wins at the meet with 35. So far, so good. It was the second time Rice had won or shared the Saratoga crown, having done so outright in 2009. Rice is not going to Saratoga this week. Confident she can contend again this summer. Oh, no. I think it's going to be hard to repeat that this year, maybe next year, Rice said. My barn is not exactly where I want it to be right now. I see some holes that I've got to fill. It's not diverse enough. So she's coming clean. Now, is this a smokescreen to boost her prices? Or is this the real deal? Let's go on. Rice, who did win 23 races at the Belmont at Aqueduct Spring Meet, good for second behind Brown, again Brown, said she is lacking the quality she feels is necessary to win some of the better allowance races at New York Bread Stakes. Now, you know, just to give Brown his due diligence here, uh, Brown has a lot of stakes races that he wins and and bigger uh, allowance races. Rice is more of a uh, claiming trainer, but a win is a win, and that's how they rate the standings, just by pure victories. Okay. I retired a lot of horses last year. Some of the better horses for the better races I don't have. She doesn't have them anymore. And I don't have a lot of quality New York breads that I've had over the past years. Them's the breaks. But we're letting you know now, she is uh, no lock, at least according to uh, Linda herself this year, right from the horse's mouth. Rice said, I have to accept that we're not going to tie and win every year. We're going to go up there and hopefully have a good meet. But I think Chad's safe. Okay, so she's, you know, kind of letting Chad know, okay, you got me this year, Chad. Rice does have entrance in six of Thursday's 11 races. Very, very interesting. So she has six, more than half the races tomorrow. She has six entries tomorrow. I'm curious how many she wins. What she wins like three races. Though two of those races are turf races where her entrance are for the main track only. Those main track onlys might get in And the reason I say that is the weather forecast is calling for thunderstorms for most of the night at Saratoga. So is this going to be one of these days where five races are are washed off the turf on opening day? That that would be terrible. 
So you got Chad Brown, Pletcher, <clears throat> but Linda, Linda, um, is this going to be her year? Would that be even more remarkable if she comes in with a revolver with only half the ammunition and still turns around and wins the trainer's title? And she's letting us know in advance. I don't have I don't have the arsenal I usually have. Fascinating, just fascinating. The remarkable Linda Rice, the darling of Naira trainers. So we'll have to see what happens. Tomorrow's opening day, and we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully the weather holds up. I got to check in and see what's going on as far as uh, the weather. If it's raining up there right now, that's way up north uh, from. Uh, uh, I'm in New York, but I'm not up there. I'm not going to be making it up there tomorrow, but what I will do is download the formulator, uh, formulator PPs and get started on that Saratoga car. So you have it right here. Uh, look twice if you're playing those races. Just uh, don't jump in to a Linda Rice race because uh, she's talking about it. And uh, just giving you a little warning, passing it along. See how she does with these horses. Take a look at the horses. Don't assume that she's going to be throwing duds out there. Look at the PPs carefully. See how the horse is working out. Um, has it run on the track before? One thing keep in mind when you're playing Saratoga, it's very, especially <clears throat> horse, look for horses who have experience on the track. Uh, who's won there before, that is a very strong indicator because we've got so many invaders coming in. This is one of those types of meets, um, like Del Mar, one of the, uh, for big days, horses come in from all over the country who don't have experience on the track. Trainers are very important here, as are the jockeys who have run on the track and the owners. Be sure to look at the owners I did a video on that the other day, jockeys, trainers, and owners uh, to look out for at Saratoga. So you may want to take a look at that. So if you enjoy this video, by all means, hit the like button. Feedback is always appreciated. And if you'd like to get notification of all upcoming videos, um, hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell so you get notifications. Turn that bell black. So tomorrow... And they're off at Saratoga. Thanks for watching, everybody. Good luck in the Saratoga meet. Keep an eye on Linda Rice. And remember, may the horse always be with you.